Hello, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. So we have three cards here, guys. Um, the first card being chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. Okay. We have ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. We also have reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Okay. Well, it's definitely someone who's taking a trip down memory lane right now, Pisces. I think that, you know, obviously with the reminiscing card, they are being reminded of you, maybe thinking about positive memories that you guys have shared, um, like it says, or inside jokes, right? But with ego and chemistry, I, I definitely feel like something about your energy could feel very familiar to this person. They feel very connected to you. There may even be um, like a sense of security that they feel with that chemistry card. But with the ego card... It says, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So this could be, you know, not apologizing for something when they felt like they should have, or this could be someone who was downplaying their emotions because they didn't want to be vulnerable or they viewed emotions as a sign of weakness. But, you know, it does say that they let their pride get in the way of the connection here. So let's go ahead and clarify um, this energy. So we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a earth sign. We have the Six of Wands. You could be um, celebrating something at this time. You know, this card does talk about celebration or success, and maybe they're aware of that. Or it could just speak about someone who is wanting your attention. If it's not that they feel like you're receiving a lot of attention from others or, you know, um, you've attained some sort of goal for or achieved some sort of goal for yourself. It could be someone who is wanting your attention at this time. Okay. And with the King of Pentacles, I do think that there is a focus on stability or possibly wanting to provide for you. Um, you know, because the King of Pentacles, it's a provider energy or someone who wants to come forward with like a kind gesture. Um, but stability is definitely on their mind here. So let's start off by seeing how this person's currently viewing you. Okay. King of Cups. They're viewing you as someone that they <clears throat> are madly in love with. They're viewing you as someone that they have a lot of emotions for. Now, I will say, guys, there's something about this person falling for you that could have been very unexpected. I'm picking up on that intuitively. Um, but with the first card, you know, I've never felt a passion this intense. I do feel, you know, with that card as well as the King of Cups, it's kind of the same, but there, there is a difference. There are differences here. Like, even though the passion is being highlighted, I think the fact that this person's viewing you in the King of Cups energy lets me know that there, there is more than passion here. They have deep emotions for you. Um, and they could also be viewing you as someone who is handling this situation in a very mature manner. Because the King of Cups is someone with a lot of emotions, although they have their emotions intact. You know, it's it's not like, you know, they're overly sensitive. They know how to maintain or, or uh, you know, express their emotions and they know um, when to hold back if need be. So they may feel like you're handling the situation, um, you know, much, much better than they are, or they feel like you're just handling it in a very mature manner. We have the Ten of Pentacles followed by the High Priestess in the Challenge position. It's someone who is desiring a connection with you, but um, the High Priestess coming out in the Challenge position is pretty much just confirming the silence that is going on between the both of you. 
Um, this person may also feel that you are very like smart or you're you're very intuitive where you're able to figure things out even if they're not vocal about it. But mainly what I see here is someone who wants a connection with you, but the silence is definitely the, the blockage or the fact that they're keeping it to their self. Now, with the High Priestess, it also speaks about like having some sort of hope or faith in a connection or feeling like something is going to work out, but you're not sure how. So I feel like this person, like they intuitively feel that you guys are either going to speak again or they intuitively feel that you guys are going to be able to overcome an obstacle here they're not really sure how because it doesn't speak about tangible uh you know evidence but it speaks about just like intuition or or feeling something very deeply here um and i feel like they're still definitely desiring you know a connection the way that you're viewing them ace of cups so you may actually want a new beginning with this person okay you may also feel like things happened very quickly between the both of you where it's like um you know maybe things were like smooth sailing and then you know it came to like a very abrupt stop or things were great until they were not but there's something about like the pace of this bond whether you feel like things moved very quickly between the both of you and it was very passionate it was very intense but then um, you know, I feel like something came to a pause or you feel like you weren't really paying attention to the details of this connection because things were progressing so quickly. I don't know, something about like things moving very quickly here is coming through, but um, with the Ten of Pentacles as well as the High Priestess, I definitely feel like it's someone who's like, I am either destined to be with Pisces or I know that we're going to overcome this obstacle that we're currently in. Um, and so if you're not viewing them as someone that you want to have a new beginning with, this could be someone where you have something that you want to tell them sp specifically pertaining to your emotions, like how you feel or how they made you feel or what you want moving forward, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so in your feelings, we have the nine of pentacles and we also have the justice card. Hmm. Pisces, some of you may feel like, um, focusing on yourself, returning inward was like a form of, you know, justice or, or like, um, it was like a form of karma. And I'm not saying you were like, you know, you wanted revenge or anything like that, but it seems that in your feelings, you felt, okay, I need to focus on me. I need to be, you're in, embodying more of an independent energy. And so I can read it as, you know, you feel like focusing on yourself is what the right, uh, is the right thing to do right now, because the justice card speaks about what feels right or what feels fair. Or it could be that you're focusing on yourself, you feel good, you're feeling independent, but there may be some sort of clarity that you're still seeking. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. We also have the Ace of Pentacles as well as the Six of Swords in your feelings. And you're viewing them in the Ace of Cups energy. It's like you want a new beginning, but you want it to be stable. I do see you have a desire for this person, but you're also focusing on yourself. So in an odd way, or not really an odd way, but in a way I almost feel like you do want a new beginning, but you don't want to be consumed by your emotions for this person, or you don't want this bond to consume you because nine of pentacles lets me know that you're still in a very independent energy or very self-focused. So it's like, I want a new beginning, but I want it to be stable. I want a new beginning, but I don't want to be completely consumed by this relationship here. And Six of Swords and Ace of Pentacles could also just be an energy of wanting to make peace with this situation, whether it's by communicating with them or attaining some sort of peace on your own, right? Six of Swords is more so moving to calmer waters, letting go of any sense of conflict or anything that's bothering you on a mental level here. And I feel like for some of you, especially with the Six of Swords as well as the Justice card, there is an energy of you feeling like something is not, something doesn't feel fair to you. So whether it's something you want to communicate to this person, whether it's something you want to hear from them, something you want them to come clean about, something doesn't feel fair here. And you feel like you would feel more at peace if you were to get that closure or get that, uh, receive that clarity. King of Swords clarifying the Ten of Pentacles and the Strength card. definitely a level of pride here guys you know and and you in the second um oracle card there it does speak about ego because what i'm seeing with the king of swords and the strength card is this is someone who's thinking about how things ended between the both of you okay with the king of swords it could be read as someone who has recently you know went through a breakup or a divorce but they are thinking about how things ended between the both of you or how a very stable commitment came to an end or a commitment that had the potential to be stable take it how it resonates but king of swords and strength card could be like this person feeling they have a right to be upset as well or there's some sort of frustration that they're holding on to 
at this time and with the strength card that could be someone who does feel an urge to speak to you but they feel determined to be held back or they feel again this could be their pride this could be be their ego or something that they're upset about but they're very they feel determined to be held back at this time it could be a leo that you guys are involved with um and i will say like they they think about you a lot they have you know they're thinking about the the uh, connection with you but it's someone who's having a hard time being vocal or or being the first one to initiate that conversation and this person may have even said something to you and they're kind of looking at the situation as if, okay, well, I already said this or I already made this clear. So how, how would it look if I went back on that? So there may be something that they disagree with, but their pride is not letting them speak up about it or own up to it or just say, you know what, I'm wrong or my decision has changed, that sort of thing. So in their feelings, we have the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer and we also have the eight of cups. I think this person is trying to accept an ending or they're trying to accept like whether it was you that walked away, whether it was them that walked away, whether it was mutual. It seems to me that the chariot, when the chariot and eight of cups is coming out in their feelings, it's someone who's trying to accept things for what they are. It doesn't change the fact that they feel like it's difficult, but it could be like, okay, well, I know things are over or I know Pisces walked away or I know, you know, um, what Pisces wanted is not what I was offering them. So I need to accept things for what they are. They are having a hard time emotionally detaching, but they may feel like that's much needed at this time. So it's not to say they don't want to communicate with you because they have faith that you guys will speak again, but maybe right now it's an energy of, I need to take this time for myself or I need to, um, you know, uh, it, it's like they're paying attention to what the ending or what some sort of detachment has taught them. Yeah, Six of Cups, exactly. They they have a feeling that you guys are going to speak again. They have a feeling that, you know, whether it's they're going to come back around or they're going to bump into you, whatever it is, they feel like you there is a potential to reconcile. But Cherry then the Eight of Cups is like having to accept why things ended in the first place or feeling like you need to walk away from a situation, even if it is to clear your mind, even if it is to see things from another perspective. It's something about them feeling like if they detach from their emotions or some sort of anger or frustration that they're holding on to, they will gain more clarity on the situation. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who's like, how do I come back? Or um, this is someone who is thinking about, you know, they're in the process of walking away, accepting an ending, but a part of them feels like, you know, you guys are meant to be. So two of pentacles, you know, it's kind of resulting in an energy that is very back and forth. You know, this person could feel like they're juggling so many things at once, whether it's, which I feel like out of the two things is walking away from this situation for good and accepting an ending or feeling like, nope, we are meant to be because that's why I still feel drawn to Pisces. So there is like an internal battle that your person is facing right now, Ace of Swords, but I do see them having a breakthrough or coming to some sort of a conclusion here. So I don't feel like that's a battle that will continue for long because the Ace of Swords speaks about, um, you know, like a breakthrough in a situation or receiving the clarity that you're seeking. Um, with the chariot as well as the eight of cups and six of cups guys like i feel like this person is really missing you i do see that um, i feel like they're really missing you they're yearning for you but they're also understanding that something is just not working they're also understanding that maybe there was something that was important to them or important to you that was missing from this bond because the eight of cups is walking away from a situation when you feel like a key component is missing so that is coming out there as well um so what do we have here? We have a tower. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio and we also have the nine of cups. This person may feel like they kind of allowed things to fall apart without necessarily doing anything about it. And again, guys, you know, that could be because of pride or ego and nine of cups could be like, like some of you may question this person or you're questioning their intent. You're kind of like, okay, were you involved for selfish reasons? Or you feel like they were only really looking out for their self here. Two of swords, eight of pentacles. I, you know, because in the potential outcome for the two of swords and the eight of pentacles, that's someone who is like, they could be using work as a distraction. They could be thinking about their next steps. But two of swords is a lack of clarity, guys. And the tower is like, it could be divine intervention, but the way that I'm seeing it with the other cards here in your spread is like, this person feels like they need to allow something to unfold the way it's supposed to. And that's why we have the eight of cups in their feelings as well. Like as much as they are, you know, thinking about the commitment, as much as they feel like you guys will have an opportunity to come together again, I feel like this week they're trying to detach or see things from a different perspective and gain clarity on the situation. And with the two of swords, you know, that's like, that could be denial. That could be someone who just feels like they're not seeing things clearly. And nine of cups and eight of pentacles could be someone who is working on their self or working on their stability. Um, 
and they're trying to like be a better version of themselves or, or alter something within them that is making them feel uneasy. We have the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, K, Five of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I think that this person definitely wants to come around, but in the future outcome, I don't see like immediate action towards you. Instead, I see someone who's like trying to learn from what has happened, someone who feels like they need to detach in order to gain some sort of clarity. And I also feel, Pisces, that there is like some sort of disappointment here. And as much as, you know, there may not be tangible evidence or this person is not speaking to you right now, they do believe that they will come back around or they do believe you guys will somehow speak to each other. Because with the Six of Cups and the High Priestess, they can't deny the connection that they feel. It's almost like someone who's battling between their emotions and being more realistic or accepting the reality of a situation. So like in their mind or in their heart, I should say, they know that they um, still feel connected to you or they want to come back around, but logically they feel like the right thing to do is accept what has happened and learn from it because there's something that they're learning and they're, what's becoming clear to them is what was not working or what was missing in this connection to begin with. Um, I also feel like with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles here, guys, like this person may feel like they need to be very premeditated or they need to think about their decisions thoroughly. I really don't see this person operating in an in, in uh, like an impulsive manner because they feel like they have a lot of thinking to do. Um, I do see a level of disappointment. I do see a level of disappointment when it comes to how they've treated you or the lack of emotional expression. Like they may feel like they could have um, communicated something to you in a better manner or they may feel like they let their ego get in the way so they were downplaying their emotions for you. There's a lot that they're not showing you. Obviously, it is a no contact period here, but with the King of Swords as well as the Strength card as well, I think that like they're very determined to figure out some sort of truth or some sort of truth has come to light for them, even if it's about their behavior and they feel like they need to detach to kind of see the situation for what it is. Um, and that's mainly what I'm getting in the potential outcome, like someone who is detaching to gain clarity. Um, and so I don't want to push a message that's not there. I don't really see immediate reconciliation, but... Let's go ahead and see what they want to communicate to you. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Yeah, there's definitely changes that they're making or they're, what's becoming very clear to them is like, is like, okay, well, I can keep thinking about a connection with Pisces, but if I don't change, you know, said thing, then it's not really going to come into fruition here. Okay. So what do they want to communicate to Pisces? Look at this, guys. I have to let you go to find myself. And I was saying they feel very, like in their feelings, it was coming through very strongly that they feel like they need to detach from the situation to either find a sense of self or they feel like they maybe lost their self in this connection in one way or another. Um, but it could also just be someone who's feeling very confused, right? Like, and it's like, okay, I need to get, get out of a relationship or I need to stop focusing on, um, Pisces right now because I need to focus on what I want and figure myself out. That's kind of the energy I was getting from their feelings. Like someone who has a deep desire for you, six of cups, high priestess, 10 of pentacles, still affected by the ending of the bond here, but there's something that they feel like they need to work on. Um, you know, and with the Knight of Pentacles, it could be read as like very slow moving, but it's the most reliable knight in the deck. And it's all about perspective, guys. Like if you want action from this person right now or you want to reconcile right now, of course, it won't be your desired outcome. But if you want this person to make a change so that you guys can have something long term, then this may be a message that you actually want to hear. Because I see someone taking the initiative to change something about their self or realizing where they went wrong. And it seems like they want to be a better person here they feel like you deserve better i can't take it anymore and that's that strength card like feeling that urge to speak to you but um feeling like okay i'm very determined to hold back i think that this is someone who's feeling very overwhelmed by their memories by the passion between the both of you the emotions that they have for you Look at this, guys. I want to be different. So kind of just confirming what i'm telling you guys they're not pleased with who they are and it may even feel like this connection has made them, you know, dig beneath the surface or there's some sort of, sort of like soul searching going on where it's like, what do I really want? Because I'm not happy with who I am and I'm not happy with, you know, what I have attracted or what I have, um, you know, going on in my love life. And they're understanding that they need to be different if they want to see some sort of changes, you know, in their life here. 
and another card it says it is all too much and I'm kind of reading it hand in hand with the I can't take it anymore I think this person's having a very hard time dealing with their emotions feeling extremely uh you know overwhelmed and bottom of the deck it says I am blocked so you may have this person blocked okay so my wonderful Pisces, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.